Yo, what is going on? Welcome to Season 6 here in Fortnite. This is the Week 1 Challenge Guide, where I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete the challenges, well, at least to the best of my abilities. If you guys want to continue seeing these weekly guides on the channel throughout Season 6, please do me a favor and drop a like down below if you would not mind. I would appreciate that very much. So let's get right into the first one. We have to pick up a legendary item in different matches, and in total, that comes out to three legendary items. So I know this is probably not going to work for everybody because this also has a lot of luck involved. But if you can manage to find a legendary vending machine, I think this is probably one of the easiest ways to complete this challenge. And this is depending on if you want to complete the challenge as fast as possible. Or maybe you just want to complete it organically by just playing the game and eventually finding legendary weapons. However, if you do land at locations where vending machines usually spawn, i.e. Retail Row... Paradise Palms, Pleasant Park. There are tons of different areas where you can find vending machines just like I have right over here. So if I were to, let's say, for example, go ahead and trade some of this brick in. Bada bing, bada boom, trade some brick. And now I've got the shotgun. Boom, look at that. I even found another legendary vending machine right here in Risky Reels. I was gonna say go to the Stoneheads because they usually have three chests, anywhere from one to three chests around them, but Stoneheads had been removed in season six of Fortnite. So I think your easiest bet is either, of course, just searching chests or supply drops. But let's be honest, the chance of a legendary item from a chest is extremely low. So your best bet is to look for a legendary vending machine or try to stay alive and loot as many supply drops as possible. Next challenge, regain health from a cozy campfire. 150 hit points in total. Oh my gosh. Literally the first thing I land on, guys. Cozy campfire. So for this challenge, we're really just going to have to get lucky. And in fact... We are going to need to take damage either by enemies or we are going to need to inflict damage on ourselves, which would be really, really easy for us to do. We could just easily take fall damage. However, I'm not the smartest YouTuber in the world, as you guys probably have already figured out. It's really not safe to take damage until the towers right now, because if I take too much damage and somebody shoots me one time and I die, I will not be a happy camper. Oh, shields. Okay, shields are good. The reason why shields are good, obviously, is because it helps towards our other challenge. And not only that, but we can take fall damage and not be quite as worried because fall damage does not apply to shields. Okay, we have 18 health right now. Perfect amount for a campfire. So now I'm going to just box myself in and just pray to God that nobody damages me. But this is pretty much going to be your easiest and safest bet to get the cozy campfire challenge completed. I mean, there's not much else to it. Another recommendation or tip I could give you guys is once again to find a blue vending machine since they're much more common than a legendary vending machine and try to hope that you end up getting a campfire from it. Yo, Slendy, what are you doing over there? <laughs> okay, where did our girl go? Oh, okay, our girl's still there. She kind of blended into the wall a little bit. Man, she really does not like me. You know, it's like she's got a vendetta against me or something like that because I tried to kill her earlier. Come on. Let go of the pass, girl. All right, she's rebuilding up her fortress. Mad respect. Maybe that... Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Stage one. Search chests. Hard. Interesting. I'm not sure what the stage one means. I've never seen this before, so this is going to be different. So a lot of you might be thinking right now, pressed in your guide is, it's okay, I appreciate it, but how do I find these three chests? Well, it's simple. You go to Junk Junction. Reason being is that not a lot of people are dropping here right now. There's so many new places in Season 6, and you can almost always guarantee you're going to find three chests. I mean, right here, look, we got one over here. We even got one right there. I'll do a little bit of zooming out for you guys. We have one underneath the, the crusher of the cars. And we have one right here. And then plus, there's also... Oh, look at that. And there's another one right there. And of course, they also spawn inside the buildings here at Junk Junction, which is extremely convenient for finding even more chests. I think there might even be one inside of here. JK, sorry, I clickbaited you. One thing if you guys didn't know about this challenge is that since this is stage one of the challenge... There are also two other stages. The second stage is search supply drops. You have to search two supply drops. Best way to do that is wait until the game gets to about five or 10 minutes. Once you hear the supply drop sound, obviously start heading towards it and just hope that you're the first people to get there. And then the final stage, which is actually ridiculous, is search a llama. There's only one llama per game. 
okay? So for this one, the only advice I have, guys, is be lucky, because this is going to be super hard. But no, real talk, if you want to find a llama, the easiest way is probably just to stay on your glider and float for an extremely long time, or just play the game. You're just going to have to play the game. This one is... This one's gonna be ridiculous. Apply 500 shields? Oh my gosh, that's gonna be, uh... Hopefully we find a vending machine that has shields, but then we still have to take damage. For the 500 shields challenge, do yourself a favor, just land in Wailing Woods. I know it's boring, but if you harvest 100 mushrooms, yes, I said that right, 100 mushrooms, you will be able to get this challenge completed. And it really, I just harvested four there in like, what, five seconds? It doesn't take too long. And in Wailing Woods, there's even vending machines where you could possibly get an uncommon or even a... Well, of course I get this one, but you could even get an epic that would give you a slurp juice. You could get an uncommon for small shields. You can loot chests to hopefully find shields. And of course, everything I'm looking at right now is not giving me what I need. I mean, look at that. I'm in Wailing Woods and in the brand new house here in season six, I just found myself a good old fashioned big shield pot. Now, there are other areas on the map that you can drop if you guys want to harvest mushrooms. You can land in the dusty divot. Tons of mushrooms over there. There's even mushrooms right here in between Retail Row and the Dusty Divot. There's even some mushrooms in Shifty Shafts if you really want to. But the most populated area for shield mushrooms are going to be right here inside of Wailing Woods. I know, this is an annoying challenge because you also can't take fall damage to take away your shield, so you're gonna have to have somebody do damage to you or find something to hurt your shields. Stage one, land at Junk Junction. Now just remember, this is a battle pass challenge. You gotta have the battle pass if you guys want to do these challenges. But stage one is landing at Junk Junction. Everybody knows and loves Junk Junction. It's at the top left corner of the map. Great family fun, wholesomeness over here. Take your kids, it's great. The next location you guys are gonna have to drop is gonna be right here at the old Tomato Temple. After Tomato Temple, go ahead and scurry your way over to Tilted Towers and that's gonna finish stage three, but there's still two more spots we gotta drop. Then you have to land at Fatal Fields. This is a, uh, it's a bit of a challenging task because there's a lot of places you have to drop and this isn't even the final stop. Don't worry guys, the final drop is here. The last and final place you have to drop at to finish this challenge is Flush Factory. And then you are done, and then you can just dance until the cows come home because you just completed a very lengthy challenge with multiple stages. Dance under seven different street light spotlights. What the heck, Epic Games? Thanks to Fortnite Intel, this challenge is about to get a whole lot easier. As you can see on the map, they've gone ahead and marked out for us all the different locations where you can dance under the street lights. Thank God, because the rest of these challenges are insanely difficult in my opinion. In case you guys are wondering what they look like, this is the one in Risky Reels. It's very easy to see. It's got a couple of speakers on it. It's a spotlight. Yeah, you can find it, I promise. And just in case you guys need more locations, I'll go ahead and show them to you. There's another one right here behind Lazy Links. I should also mention that these spotlights don't count. You have to dance at the spotlights that have the speakers on them just like this. This location is next to Junk Junction. Don't go here, it's, it's too far out. But this challenge should be one of the least challenging out of week one, season six. Eliminate opponents in different named locations. Only five, that should be totally easy. And ladies and gentlemen, now it is time for my favorite challenge so far in the battle pass. Eliminate opponents in different locations. You have to do five in total, so for now, I'm going to land here on this SMG and I'm going to eliminate this guy in front of me or he might eliminate me. I'm not quite sure which one yet. Aha! Well, you know what? I just got the challenge completed, so joke's on you, Austin. And just like that, you have now completed the challenge. Well, I mean, if you finished off four people in different locations. And last but not least, thanks to Fortnite Intel, the battle star for season six, week one. Now, you can only collect this once you guys have completed all of the week one challenges. However, once you have done it, the location is exactly right here between this small little mountain and Paradise Palms and this small little farm area. You can't miss it. So get out there, complete those challenges. Don't procrastinate them like I do. Make sure you guys subscribe for future challenge guide videos for the next week. Leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.